Hey parents, Mr. Jim here to tell you why kids love learning with Osmo's Genius Starter Kit. Osmo uses real tangible pieces that look and feel just like toys, combining them with immersive digital experiences to create fun, whole child learning adventures. They'll have a blast with the Genius Starter Kit, playing games that explore math, reading, and more. Just in time for the holidays, get up to 40% off select kits and games. Order today at PlayOsmo.com. That's PlayOsmo.com. Osmo, learning well played. Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. If this is your first time listening, welcome to the family. My name is Mr. Jim, like I said earlier, and I live in South Carolina with my family and we love stories so much that we turn your ideas into an awesome adventure every single day. So head on over to kidshortstories.com, send me your awesome idea, and maybe it will actually turn into a real adventure. Well, today's story comes to us from Edwin. Are you ready for Edwin's adventure? Me too, let's go! It was a beautiful day and a perfect one at that for a hike in the forest. Edwin was putting on his hiking boots after having already packed his backpack with granola bars, water bottles, and some bug spray. He was going to go on a hike through the forest and do some exploring, which he loved to do. Even though he had been on like a hundred hikes before, this one would be unlike any ever before. All right, Edwin, just be home before dinner. Have fun out there, shouted his mom. Okay, bye. Edwin waved goodbye and strapped on his backpack and off he began. All right, first things first, I need to find a walking stick. Yeah, you can't go hiking without a walking stick, said Edwin. He started scanning the edge of the forest for, you know, a nice straight branch that he could break into a perfect walking stick. Oh, there's one right there, said Edwin. He moved the leaves out of the way and picked it up. It was perfect. A little too long, so he broke off some of the end. There. That is a perfect walking stick. Now we can start the hike. Edwin loved going on hikes. He loved exploring this forest and learning all the secrets that were inside of it. Like what critters live there, what plants grow, and what kind of secret hidden places might be discovered along the way. This was a magical forest, one that he'd never actually seen the magic. He'd he'd only imagined that it was a magical forest, but today he would find something that might have a little bit of magic inside of it. (sighs) Ah, what a beautiful day. Wow. The birds are chirping, wind. Ah, it's a nice cool breeze. Kind of want to sit up on that rock there and take a drink and maybe have a little snack. He had been walking now for about an hour. So that it was a good time to take a little bit of a break. He climbed up on this big boulder, sat down, opened up his pack, pulled out a nice crunchy granola bar, and took a drink of water. Ah, oh, that's good. Wait, what is that down there? You see, the rock that he was sitting on was overlooking a very grassy field. A field that had a nice uh, creek of water flowing through it and it just ran all the way down the valley. But there was something that caught his eye. It was glowing, kind of sparkling even. He wanted to get closer. He put the top back on his water bottle, put everything back in his backpack and hopped down the boulder and ran down to it. What do we have here? said Edwin. He knelt down to the ground on the edge of this creek. It was kind of like a a sandy, rocky edge to the creek he got on his hands and knees and looked down. It was like a sparkly golden egg. Is that an egg? He thought to himself. No, it's not an egg. He carefully picked it up and turned it over. Whoa, that is a very large seed, I think, said Edwin. He was right. It was uh, kind of like an acorn, but not an acorn. It was a golden seed. I don't know how else to describe it, and Edwin didn't know either. 
So he put it in his pocket. Huh, maybe when I get home I can plant it and see if it actually grows into something. If it really is a seed, it just needs some dirt and water. Edwin continued on his hiking journey, but his mind couldn't stop thinking about that golden seed that he had found. As it was bouncing around in his pocket, he just kept imagining what it could be. Huh, I wonder if it, if it's gold, like he'll grow into a, a gold coin tree. Whoa, that'd be awesome. Or maybe it'll grow into some kind of creature. Wow, I have got to get home and figure this out. Edwin turned around, putting a, a shorter end to his hiking adventure. Since he'd already found something mysterious, he headed on back home. Can't wait to get home and inspect this some more. Edwin said as he was hiking and climbing back up the hill that he had come down before. He made it back to his house and his parents were surprised to see him back so soon. Edwin, are you okay? Did, uh, did something happen out there? Oh, I'm fine. Check out this seed I found. He pulled it out of his pocket and opened up his hand. His mom looked down and said, Wow, I've never seen a seed like that before. Where did you find that? It was down by the creek down the hill from us. It was in the middle of the grassy field, and I could see it sparkle from really far away. I kind of want to plant it and see what happens. I agree! said his mom. I think you should plant it now. I'm almost done with dinner and then maybe we can work on it together. Edwin started to grab some things that he might need for it. What do you think you would need if you wanted to plant a seed in the ground? Maybe a shovel? Maybe a watering can? Yeah. So he ran into his garage to look for those two things. By the time he was done, his mom was already waiting for him in the backyard. Edwin, did you find it? She shouted. I think she was just as excited as Edwin was. Yep, here it is. Edwin came running back to the backyard, holding a watering can and a shovel. Oh, I forgot to put water in it. Ooh, I'll do that job, said his mom. I'll put some water in here and why don't you dig a little hole to put the seed in? I'll be right back. Edwin took the shovel and started digging a tiny little hole in the ground. It needed to be deep enough to cover it, but, you know, not too deep. Maybe about half a finger deep. He plopped the seed inside of the hole and carefully covered it back up with the dirt. His mom came with the watering can and together they watered that area to make it a perfect home for whatever thing the seed might grow into. All right, mom, uh, how long do we have to wait? <laughs> Edwin, it, it's going to take a little while. It's not going to be ready today or tomorrow. It's going to take many weeks, maybe even a couple months before it grows into something that we can understand what it is. But let's go have some dinner. Edwin followed his mom inside and his family sat down for a delicious dinner. Followed by <sighs> oh, I'm kind of tired. <sighs> Edwin was pretty tired from his long hiking day. He got ready for bed and fell asleep. Well, uh, you might think the story ends there, but it does not. Overnight, something magical happened in their backyard. As Edwin woke up the next morning, he yawned and stretched his arms. Wait a second. What is that? He looked out his window and couldn't believe his eyes. Where did that tree come from? He raced downstairs. Mom, mom, come here. As he ran out the back door, she was close behind. Edwin, what's wrong? She said. Look at that. Edwin pointed his finger up towards this brand new tree that had grown in their backyard. But it was not your ordinary tree. What had grown was a tree with a tree house inside of it. What? I didn't know they made trees with tree houses grow out of seeds. I've never heard of that before. Edwin raced over to the tree where a ladder was waiting for him. He climbed all the way up to the treehouse and looked out the window. Mom, can you believe this? It really was a magical seed. His mom couldn't believe it. What they had discovered was truly a magical seed that grew so fast overnight. But even though this is where our story now ends, 
it is only just the beginning of their amazing magical adventures in this new magic treehouse. The end. Hey friends, I need your help celebrating a birthday. Drum roll, please. Happy birthday, Jane, who's turning five years old. Jane loves to draw, do math problems, and play with her little brother, Adam. Wow, Jane, I love all those things, drawing and math, and I'm sure Adam is super cool, but Jane, this is your big day. I hope this is not only a super duper day. I hope it's the best birthday ever. Happy fifth birthday, Jane. Great job. You listened all the way to the end and you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. <laughs> I want to say hey to Caitlin from Indiana, Maya from Boston, Zeven from Vancouver, Oscar from British Columbia, Alina from England, Violet, Isaac, Asher, and Iris from Ontario, Canada. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kid Short Stories family. And on the spy team, we could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew. Without you, my friends, well, you have a super duper day. And I will see you on our next adventure. Bye! Hey parents, Mr. Jim here to tell you why kids love learning with Osmo's Genius Starter Kit. Osmo uses real tangible pieces that look and feel just like toys, combining them with immersive digital experiences to create fun, whole child learning adventures. They'll have a blast with the Genius Starter Kit playing games that explore math, reading, and more. Just in time for the holidays, get up to 40% off select kits and games. Order today at PlayOsmo.com. That's PlayOSMO.com. Osmo. Learning well played.